Hi all, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be discussing about the approval module in Odoo 16. The approval module of the new Odoo version 16 is an efficient management tool for the operation of seeking permission and grinding one in a company operating for the employees. This brings out a systematic mode of approach in the operations of approvals requested by the employees as well as the approvals given by the managers. The approval request in the Odoo platform can be customized as per the needs and the operation could be managed and monitored effectively in the platform. The various approval requests such as business trip, general approval, borrowing things, financial approval and many more can be created and customized in the Odoo platform. Now let's get into the approval module. For that, here is the approval, I am opening it. Once you open the approval module, you can see the dashboard where you can see different kinds of approval requests. So here you have the business trip, uh, request for borrowing items, general approval, car rental application, payment application, contract approval, job referral award, procurement and creative RFQs. Now we'll do one thing here under the uh, business trip, you can see two review zero and new request. So click on new request for you all to create a new request. So here you can see uh, approval subject is business trip. You can see the request owner, the category which it comes under. So you have these much categories. You can choose the category from there. And here the name also you can change if you want. Okay. So you have the category and you can set the period that is from which day to which day you are planning this business trip. So I'm putting um, 8 to 14. So this is the business trip and here you can set the location that is where you're going. So I'll give US. Okay, so here you can give the description corresponding to this, uh, you know, business trip. And also here you can set the approver that is who have to approve this. So currently we have um, Michelle admin and also if it's required, you can just check the checkbox and the status currently it's in new state. Now after uh, filling these uh, requests and all, what you have to do is if you want to attach any document uh, corresponding to this trip, that is if you want to attach the tickets, uh, flight details, anything, you can attach it from here. And if you want to submit it, you have to just click on submit button. Now after submitting, you can see the stage has changed to submitted from to submit to submitted. Now here you have the option to approve, refuse and also cancel. Now if you just click on approve, it's been approved now if you want to withdraw the approval click on withdraw okay if you want to refuse just refuse click on refuse and if you want to withdraw the refusal you can do that and also you can click on cancel and cancel it if you want to put it back to draft click on back to draft submit approve so i've approved it here you can see the approver the status have changed to approved if you go back to the dashboard Okay, so here you have the count as zero itself. We'll do one thing under borrow items. Uh, you can add the product which you are planning to borrow. So I'm putting whiteboard pen description approvers. So I'm submitting it. Sorry, before that you have to set the start date and end date. That is from which date to which date. Now submit it. Okay, it's submitted. Now if you go back to the dashboard here, you can see two review has become one. Because that request is not yet uh, approved, refused or cancelled. It's just in the state submitted. Okay. Now if it's approved, you can't see that uh, two review as one here. Okay. So once it's approved, it's not a request. Right. So these are the categories under which we can set requests. Then if you go to my approval, you can see new request. So here you can see new requests. You have my request that is if you want to see only your request, you can click that and you can see uh, your request under different status. Okay, so you can see business trip, uh, which is into submit state, submitted state, approved state. So we don't have anything in refused state. So there is nothing to show. Now here you have the list view. 
and the Kanban view of the request that is my request. You have filter that is my approvals to review and my, my request. You have group by. You can add custom group and favorites. Okay. And under manager, you have uh, the manager's point of view. That is, you can see the approvals which are to be reviewed. So the submitted approvals can be seen here. And just clicking on that, you can just approve, refuse or cancel it. Okay. So that's approvals to review. And if you want to see all approvals, that is uh, approvals which are in all status. Okay. You can see all of them here. You can see submitted to submit, approved to submit and all. So that's it. And here also we have the Kanban view. So under each stage, you can see different requests. Now under configuration, you have approval types. So these were the types which we saw in the dashboard. So here you can see business trip, borrow items and all. If you take a look here, you can see business trip, borrow items. Similarly, if you want to create an approval type, new. So here I'm creating one called vacation. Uh, the approval type here, you can choose from here. Okay. And the automated sequence, the code and what the fields, what all fields are uh, mandatory, what all fields you want inside that approval type and all can be set here. And also by default, you can set the uh, approvers that is employees manager is approver. And what are the approvers? You can set it from here. Okay, approval sequence, minimum approval. Okay, so here you have date, period. Okay, that's it. So simply you can save it here. And if you go back to approval types, here you can see vacation. So here under the dashboard also you can see what vacation. So after creating an approval type, if you want to create a request for that uh, approval type which you created, just go to the dashboard and here you have new request. So from here you can create the what uh, approval type, I mean request for that approval type and under this category also you will get this vacation. So after that we have the products. So here you can see all the products. Okay. So there is nothing much to be. Uh, said and all here you have the can be sold filter you, can, you have this uh, these much filters you can filter it based on your wish you have the group by option which is product type product category and pos category okay then you have the product variants so these are the product variants okay so these are the main things which comes under the approval module that is to create approval types and also uh, create request under uh, your desired approval type so that's all for today. Thanks for watching.